Well, we've all been caught off guard by this weather whiplash. Yeah, from a blizzard last week to wearing shorts and sandals this week. These extreme weather changes are showing signs of an overshift in climate in Minnesota. Our Mary Mose explains. We just noticed it driving by when we came here to shop and uh, decided to take pictures. Brad and his wife stopped by the famous Mount Eden Prairie Thursday to capture the juxtaposition of an 80 degree day and a giant glacier. This is definitely Minnesota, you know, and this is what happens in these large parking lots. Judging by the amount of frozen dirt still standing, Brad placed his bet on when it would finally melt. I'm sure this one will be here till at least June. The city lakes have been busy with so many people outside enjoying the weather, biking, walking and running. But Lake of the Isles is still half frozen. It's definitely a couple degrees cooler. You get a little breeze off the ice. It's kind of nice when it's a warm day. Allie Dieterman enjoyed a walk around the lake, but is still in disbelief how quickly it warmed up. It's so weird, especially for April. Um, what a change in the weather. And Wednesday, Thursday and Friday this week all have a fingerprint of climate change, meaning these temperatures that we're experiencing are one and a half to two times more likely because of the impacts of climate change in Minnesota. Our spring days are steadily getting warmer as well, which stretches out our allergy season. We have 34 more days of allergies on average here in the Twin Cities than we did 50 years ago. But it's hard to complain about sunny days after a record setting snowy winter. This year I'm enjoying it. Usually I prefer a little more gradual, but I'm really enjoying the warmer weather right now. Mary Elmo's WCCO News.